Wendy Murray's wife Kim Sears has given birth to an 8 pounds 10 ounces baby girl. The couple's baby was born on Sunday morning, less than a week after Murray dashed back from the Australian Open to be in the birth. The Murrays managed to keep their happy news a complete secret until this morning. Confirming news of the baby's birth, Murray's agent said, Andy and Kim had a daughter in the early hours of Sunday morning and the family are doing well. Murray's paternal grandmother Ellen Murray, 82, said the tennis champion and his wife Kim had phoned her on Monday to give her and her husband Gordon the happy news. Speaking from her home in Keelside, in Lanarkshire, she said, Andy phoned yesterday and said congratulations, you're a great granny. He told me the baby was 8 pounds, 10 ounces when she was born. It's wonderful news. We watched him in the Australian Open final and I think he just wanted to come home. I don't really know about her name yet but I hope we'll see them all soon. I'll be looking forward to a cuddle. Gordon is very happy too. They did a good job. I. Murray's maternal grandmother Shirley Erskine said the family had not known what sex the baby was going to be. She told BBC Scotland, Andy and Kim said from the outset that they didn't want to know, so I'm assuming that they didn't know and of course none of us knew, so it was nice to get a little surprise like that. Mrs. Erskine, Judy Murray's mother, said, Andy had sent a text round all the family, one of these multimedia type texts. And then I got a text from him saying something about, she's doing well and I thought, oh, something's happened. She said there was no name yet for the baby but that she was doing well, and hoped the couple, who live in Surrey, would head to Scotland with their new baby. Childhood friend Stuart McClemont said, I'm delighted for Andy and Kim. I've got a wee girl myself so we can swap notes. They'll be in for plenty of sleepless nights but it's more than worth it. I just hope she doesn't make too much of a racket. Murray, the world and Oda 2, arrived back in the UK on Monday after catching the first flight out of Melbourne following his defeat to Novak Djokovic in the final of the Australian Open. Despite his fifth defeat in the final of the tournament, he was all smiles as he arrived in London and looked excited at the prospect of becoming a father. After his defeat to Djokovic, an emotional Murray paid tribute to his wife, saying on court, to my wife Kim, she's going to be watching back home just now. You've been a legend the last two weeks. Thanks for all your support and I'll be on the next flight home. Murray then cut short his media duties after the match and said, she, Kim, has been amazing. Handled everything unbelievably well. I have to thank her for allowing me to play and stay here with everything that was going on. He then added, I just want to get home. He had said he would have quit the tournament with one match left to play if his wife went into labor. For me, my child is more important to me, and my wife is more important to me than a tennis match, he said. Earlier in the tournament his father-in-law Nigel Sears had collapsed while watching another match and was taken to hospital. He was later flown back to the UK and has made a good recovery. Murray and his long-term girlfriend married in his hometown of Dunblane on April 11th last year. The bookmaker Coral has already offered odds of 250 over 1 on baby Murray winning Wimbledon within 30 years and 100-1 that she wins any Grand Slam title. The firm is also taking bets on the baby's name, with Judy 10-1 favorite, followed by Leonore, Kim's mother's name, at 12-1. The birth of his first child capped an eventful few months for Murray. Having missed out on the finals of both the French Open and Wimbledon, he guided Great Britain to a first Davis Cup win in almost 80 years, and was named BBC Sports Personality of the Year for a second time. Judy Murray has said she will be taking a step back from tennis to focus on her new grandchild. She said she would make the newborn a priority in her life after missing out on important family moments because of her coaching career. The 56-year-old told Hello Magazine, I shall be an active granny. My mom Shirley was very involved with Jamie and Andy when they were growing up, and I hope to be the same with my grandchild. Despite encouraging Andy's talents in the sport, she said she will leave it to her son to teach tennis to the new arrival.
Children can start playing tennis with mini rackets from the age of three. But I don't think I could go through all that nurturing of talent again, she said. It takes years of dedication and sacrifice. And now I just want to enjoy time with my family.